All right, coming up next, ah, yes, a women's strawweight matchup between Tisha Torres and Angela Hill. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight upright. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she's putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. More than five years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, nine losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Angela Overkill Hill. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 11 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Tisha the Tiny Tornado Torres. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. Most people are not expecting of a grappler's delight tonight. Oh! She's going back to that pat, this straight right hand, unable to connect. Now she defends the takedown beautifully and scrambles back to her feet. Powerful leg kick lands. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And now she's got the tie catch. That knee might have landed there. Real quick leg kick. Nice kicks there by Angela Hill. Well, she's able to connect on the punch there, DC, really making good use of her reach advantage. Hill gets caught with that punch. Straight right hand, but she misses. Just over three minutes to go now. seamlessly and easily connects with another series of punches though. She is one of the best boxers in the UFC, and this is the reason why we say it every time she fights. Big punch lands from the middle. Left hand punch from the clinch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. And they separate. Look 
at the angle of that nice body shot. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big and kick. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Torres gets caught with that punch. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the bottom. Beautiful boxing here from Tisha Torres. She spent some of her past training camp in Colorado. Oh! Can't take quickly though. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. to go in round one. Again, back into this position. Oh, she continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Battle for position here. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready? You ready? It's fun. Oh, big punch land. And she lands a roundhouse kick now, DC. Pretty significant strike there. A very significant strike. And you see her starting to take over the action. Nice kick there by Torres. Ty clinch for her here. We'll see what she can do with it. Oh. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, pinpoint placement on the straight punch there. She's got an extended reach advantage in this one and made good use of it there. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter. You're successful. Let those combinations string together. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Back in the clinch now. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Nice leg kick there by Torres. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, she's got as good a tie clinch as anybody in this division, and she has gotten the tie plum here. She got the tie clinch because she's so well versed in going and securing that position. Great job. Well, she was a man. So she holds on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is gonna take advantage of it? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Great punch. Oh! Huge right hand! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. That one is going to take. That is how you scramble, folks. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, big left hook there! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Round three next. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round. 
And now the focus for the cut man, shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. All right, so there is the horn, so we will see another round. You thought maybe with that knockdown that that could have been the end. You thought it was over. People don't usually get up from those types of strikes. She took that big punch, continued to plod forward. But if she does not move her head, her night will be over very quickly. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Third round underway. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Oh, beautiful jab by her there. You know, we referenced her reach advantage on the tail of the take and certainly made good use of it there. His lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice punch by Torres. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. Hill going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, how good is her uppercut? That one landed flush. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Big punch on the Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Torres going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. Attacking both sides now. Leg kick. Thus far, 81 total strikes have now landed for Tisha Torres. While misses on 60% of the strikes, landing with just 40% accuracy against Tisha Torres. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! Here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Trying to stay in this fight! What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Hill. Now she's got the boy tie plump. We approach the one minute mark here in our third and final round. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Oh, nice punch there by Torres. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. 30 seconds to go here. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Angela Overkill Hill. All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision, and certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you are waiting for that smile,